Welcome to Blue Systems International, your premier choice for professional private investigation services. Today we will go over a TSCM bug sweep. He must, he must have told somebody to do that. According, uh, my so, phone, iPhone can specifically scan for air tags. Okay. We're running a TSCM bug sweep on this pickup truck, and technician is running the. Uh, search with devices this is a special made you know what I'm saying handcrafted and usually what we do is, is we buy these devices and we take it back to the lab and we have it re-engineered for example we had Adam and John working on this and this used to only capture RFID now it has multiple modes and is able to capture incredible distance and it improves our TSEM productivity significantly. Is that a Flipper Zero? Yes sir. Does the Flipper Zero help locate bugs? Of course. If uh, there's signals transmitting out, the Flipper Zero has the capabilities of capturing those uh, signals and what we can do is go back to the lab and isolate exactly what type of signal that came out. Again, repurposed by John and Adam. Um, again, here's a cool trick for you guys. Your phone's capabilities of reading something is really good. For example, if you're looking for something like a Bluetooth, your Bluetooth app is very, very powerful. Because if you can look over here, all these devices are all Bluetooth. Stuff like uh, air tags are all Bluetooth transmitting and AirPods are already a little tip for you guys Yeah, I'm not finding any air tags here or any Bluetooth devices that can transmit GPS signal out. The problem is it's So right now we're trying to find a GPS in any sort on the client's car. Um, we're doing a hand test and an eye test. We're also having a few couple devices down here with me. Uh, I have a Flipper Zero and Bluetooth in my back pocket. This allows us to stand for any signals transmitting out. And the Bluetooth is just for the Bluetooth devices, which is most likely unlikely, but you know, Nice. Let it be safe and sorry. And how, how are they connected to the car? Like magnets or? Typically they're connected magnets unless they're connected onto the car's battery most likely. In stalker cases they plant and go. And usually you could see on a pickup truck they would easily plant with GPS and leave. I mean as you can tell it's not very hard. Just go down, tap and go. So we're trying to find something. So we went through the client's car to do a TSCM. We first conducted a, uh, a counter surveillance. The client believes that he's being stalked. So we try to surveil this client to see who's around his surroundings. Then we proceeded to do a couple of uh, TSCM techniques to locate a um, GPS or a bug somewhere that would indicate that he's being stalked or anything in that nature. We, didn't find anything in the truck. Um, um, hopefully what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue counter surveillance is our best lead to see what else is happening in the, um, around his surroundings. His surroundings today was very interesting. A couple few guys came around him that we need to look into and then we'll go from there.